audio content of all kinds has become incredibly popular in recent years, ranging from podcasts to dramas and books. A wider selection of podcasts, streaming and audio platforms is also offering online marketers and advertisers new playing fields. If you want to reach a wider target audience with your audio content for the purposes of online marketing, it's worth exploring the topic of podcast SEO. Here we share five simple tips on search engine optimization to make your audio content heard. Tip 1. It won't work without the written word. Regardless of the type of content you offer on your website, you need textual content for ranking purposes. That means you have to provide a description on the landing page of the podcast that explains exactly what the listener can expect and what user needs will be fulfilled by the audio offering. This lets the Googlebot identify the users and the search queries relevant to your content. Tip number two, follow the basics of SEO, keywords and structure. When writing the text, focus on the actual topic of the discussion because it will contain the important keywords. When planning your podcast, you should already be researching keywords in order to identify topics, questions, sub-aspects and related issues that are relevant to the target audience. Don't just address these topics and questions in the podcast itself, but mention them in the description text as well. Tip number three, enhance the podcast with structured data. Structured data helps Google obtain information about the meaning of your page. In the standardized format of this data, you can provide information about the page and classify the content. What you enter in the structured data should also be displayed on your web page. In the case of a podcast, providing the following details are recommended among others. Information about the people featured in the podcast, episode number and season number, series name, mention the production company, episode duration, file format, URL, content preview, and credits for any music used. If you offer audiobooks instead of a podcast, you need to enter structured data suitable for books. Tip number four, make your podcast mobile friendly. Users mainly listen to podcasts on their mobile devices when they're out and about. The corresponding landing page of each podcast episode should therefore be mobile friendly. Avoid overloading the pages with data intensive content such as images or additional video content because this would slow down the page load time considerably, leading to an increase in bounce rates and quickly impairing your ranking in the long term. Remember, the page load time is a ranking criterion. And tip number five, submit your podcast to Google Podcasts. If you want your podcast to be found easily through Google services, you should use Google Podcasts. To offer a podcast via Google, we advise the following steps. Create a RSS feed according to the guidelines. Create a specific homepage that links to the RSS feed and where you can provide users with additional information about the podcast. And have the podcast indexed. For this purpose, Google requires access to the RSS feed and the home page. If you request Google to crawl your site, your new feed should be listed on Google within a week.